Hello, parents. Um, Mandy Nohos here with the Instructional Technology Team for ECISD. Um, I just wanted to walk you through um, logging in to HMH um, from your house with your kiddos and then also to do some troubleshooting um, as well. So on your screen, you may have seen this um, elementary ELAR assignment board. So some of your teachers may have shared it with you, um, some may not. So I just wanna show you some, some things that we've heard this week. So as I scroll down here, um, and if you were to click on, let's say the moose sound, um, link that they have here. For some odd reason, the link has been broken. So you get this access denied page. And so um, I wanna walk you through how we can still get there from the student in um, where you wouldn't have to have that link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag over another screen here so that you can see um, what it would look like um, to find the materials that you need for your kiddos. So I'm at our ECISD um, homepage, I apologize. I'm at our Ector County ISD homepage. And so I'm gonna come to the Parents and Students tab. And then we are asking you to log your kiddos in through class link. So over here under important links on the right hand side, you'll find class link. What will happen is they will be directed to sign in. And so your students for my, um, kinder through fourth grade students, the username is their ID number and their password is also their ID number. Now, if they're a fifth grade and up student, their user number or their ID number will still be their username, but their password, they were given the um, option to change it. Um, some chose to keep their birth date, which was two digit month, two digit day, four digit year, um, and others changed it to whatever they wanted. Okay, so I just paused the video so I could sign in um, a kiddo and not share their information with you all. So once I signed in, um, here is class link. Here is what the student is um, seeing on their end. And so we would come into HMH. That is what our ELAR team is having them do. So we would come into HMH going to tell you that the application is loading and then students would have to sign in here using their sign in information and so I'm going to open up another another window okay so for your students to sign into HMH for our K through fifth graders their student their username is going to be ECISD plus their ID number, and then their student password is going to be their ID number as well. So again, once you're on this page, the username is ECISD and their ID number, and the password is their ID number. Okay, once you have them logged in, um, up here in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that this student is signed in for um, grade uh, one and so I can hit the drop down button and I can find the grade level that um, works with my kiddo. So if I have a second grader, then I can find the second grade work. So I'm going to click on second grade. Now in the lesson plan, um, in the lesson plan, sorry I've got so many windows to work with, but in the lesson plan it says to do that moose sound video. And so on here, Amy Cotton, our elementary ELAR coordinator, has given a note that it's also known as learning card. So if, like I said, this link is broken, so you won't be able to access it, but we can still find that learning card on your student's page. So under HMH in second grade, I'm going to scroll down here to find learning cards. So again, I see my modules. And then I scroll down just a little bit and I see learning cards. So I'm going to click on learning cards. In this case, there are four different pages of learning cards. And I know um, just by researching this on page three is where I can find the moose video. So right here. And so I can open that as a parent. Um, as a parent, I don't have to 
go through the teacher again, um, I can simply search for it myself. I'm sorry. And so then I could play the video. Um, Listen to the middle sound. There you go. So that is still accessible um, if that link is broken. Other things that are also important about HMH, um, if, if you are looking at if you're looking for a specific story that the teacher has assigned to you, feel free to click on the three lines up here in the upper left hand corner by the contents. It's called the contents. And so you can also search for um, for a learning card as well. So let's say next week um, the teacher said jellyfish, but that link isn't working. Then you can also click on contents and jellyfish and it'll take you straight to that assignment. Now, I'm going to go back home really quick, go back to Discover. Um, let's say that Module 8 is what we are working on for this week, okay? So I can also click the Content um, tab within this module, and it serves as my table of content. So I know that I had my student had to read Jack and the Beanstalk and do that work, um, but then if they had to compare it, to the princess and the pea, you could also come here and click and you could jump straight to that portion of the student's assignment. Over here on the right hand side, um, some students can read and they don't need that extra assistance, but just so you know, there is a play audio feature. The princess and the pea read. What is the story's problem? Underline. So it will read it it will read aloud to your kiddo as well. Um, that is an option for you. Um, there is a note section so that you can, your kiddo can highlight and um, add a note to, um, you know, to this information. So we can save and close that. And then your student has that note if they need to take notes. There's also a more button. And so under more, um, we can even turn on the read along highlight. Um, and so as the audio is playing, find it. long ago, there was a lonely prince. You see that the words are highlighted. So look at those more features as well. I'm going to jump back to the lesson plan um, again, just in case it was shared with you as the parents. Um, note that this spelling list link is also access denied. Um, again, go ahead and take a peek um, above where it says no tech options. And so this would be the spelling list that the students were working on this week. This week. And so um, Amy Cotton has also put in a note about that. So if there are anything, um, if there are any questions, please feel free to talk to your teacher. Um, and then we can do some problem solving from there. But thank you for joining me today. Um, I appreciate it.